Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the lives of 20 actors who may have slipped from the spotlight but left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Join us as we uncover the stories of these talented individuals you may not know have left us. Now, let's get started. Roddy Piper, born Roderick George Toombs on April 17, 1954, in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, was a legendary professional wrestler, actor, and podcast host. He gained fame in the 1980s as one of the most iconic and charismatic villains in the World Wrestling Federation. Piper's wrestling career was marked by his confrontational persona, often referred to as Rowdy. He achieved notable success and is remembered for classic feuds, including the main event at the inaugural WrestleMania. Beyond wrestling, Piper ventured into acting, with memorable roles in films like They Live, 1988. His achievements include being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2005. Sadly, Roddy Piper passed away on July 31, 2015, at the age of 61, due to a heart attack. His legacy endures in the world of professional wrestling, and he is fondly remembered by fans for his larger-than-life personality and contributions to the sport. Taylor Negron, born Brad Stephen Negron on August 1, 1957, in Glendale, California, was an American actor, comedian, and playwright. He became known for his versatile talents, making appearances in films like Fast Times at Ridgemont High, 1982, and The Last Boy Scout, 1991. Negron's comedic prowess extended to stand-up comedy and writing. His career included a wide range of roles in both film and television showcasing his ability to seamlessly switch between comedy and drama. Negron also penned the popular play The Unbearable Lightness of Being Taylor Negron. Taylor Negron passed away on January 10, 2015, at the age of 57, succumbing to liver cancer. His contributions to the entertainment industry, marked by his unique humor and creative talent, continue to be remembered fondly by fans and peers alike. Andy Hallett, born on August 4, 1975, in Osterville, Massachusetts, was an American actor and singer best known for his portrayal of Lorne, the friendly demon, in the television series Angel, 1999-2004. Hallett's distinctive character, combined with his singing talent, made him a fan favorite on the show. Prior to acting, Hallett worked in the music industry as a talent scout and personal assistant, his breakthrough in Angel marked the beginning of his acting career. Regrettably, Andy Hallett passed away on March 29, 2009, at the age of 33, due to heart failure, a result of complications from a heart condition he had battled for several years. Despite his relatively short career, Hallett's contribution to Angel and his impact on fans remain a lasting part of his legacy. Harold Ramis, born on November 21, 1944, in Chicago, Illinois, was an American actor, writer, director, and producer. He rose to prominence as a key creative force in comedy, co-writing the cult classic National Lampoon's Animal House, 1978, and co-starring in Ghostbusters, 1984, where he played Dr. Egan Spengler. Ramis's career was marked by his contributions to iconic comedies like Caddyshack, 1980, and Groundhog Day, 1993, showcasing his talent for blending humor and intellect. He directed and co-wrote several successful films, leaving an indelible mark on the comedy genre. Harold Ramis passed away on February 24, 2014, at the age of 69, due to complications from autoimmune inflammatory vasculitis, a rare disease that affects blood vessels. His legacy endures, with Ramis remembered as a comedic genius and a driving force behind some of the most beloved films in the genre. Michael Clark Duncan, born on December 10, 1957, in Chicago, Illinois, 
was an American actor renowned for his powerful and imposing presence on screen. He gained fame through his Academy Award-nominated role as John Coffey in The Green Mile, 1999, showcasing his exceptional acting skills and earning widespread acclaim. Duncan's career spanned a variety of genres, including action films like The Scorpion King, 2002, and comedies such as The Whole Nine Yards, 2000. His achievements include a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Supporting Role for The Green Mile. Tragically, Michael Clark Duncan passed away on September 3, 2012, at the age of 54, following a heart attack. His remarkable talent, warm personality, and memorable performances have left an enduring impact on the film industry and the hearts of fans worldwide. Lisa Robin Kelly, born on March 5, 1970, in Southington, Connecticut, was an American actress best known for her portrayal of Lori Foreman on the TV series That 70s Show, 1998 to 2006. While the role brought her recognition, Kelly faced personal challenges that impacted her career. Her career included appearances in other television shows like Married with Children and films like Amityville Dollhouse, 1996. Unfortunately, her struggles with substance abuse affected her professional life. Lisa Robin Kelly passed away on August 15, 2013, at the age of 43. The cause of her death was officially ruled as multiple drug intoxication. Kelly's untimely demise was a tragic end to a career that showed promise, and she is remembered by fans for her contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly her role in the beloved sitcom That 70s Show. Brad Renfro, born on July 25, 1982, in Knoxville, Tennessee, was an American actor who gained fame for his standout performances in films during the 1990s. His breakthrough role came in The Client, 1994, earning him critical acclaim as a young actor. Renfro continued to impress audiences with roles in movies such as Sleepers, 1996, and Apt Pupil, 1998. Despite early success, Renfro faced personal struggles, including legal issues and substance abuse, which affected his career. His achievements include a Young Artist Award for his role in The Client. Sadly, Brad Renfro passed away on January 15, 2008, at the age of 25. The cause of his death was later determined to be an accidental heroin overdose. Renfro's talent and promising career were cut short, leaving a lasting impact on those who admired his work in the film industry. Brittany Murphy, born on November 10, 1977, in Atlanta, Georgia, was an American actress and singer. She rose to fame in the 1990s with standout performances in films like Clueless, 1995, Girl, Interrupted, 1999, and 8 Mile, 2002, showcasing her versatile talent and charm. Murphy's career included a range of genres, from comedy to drama, earning her critical acclaim and a Young Hollywood Award. Her achievements extended to her music career, with contributions to soundtracks. Tragically, Brittany Murphy passed away on December 20, 2009, at the age of 32. The cause of her death was officially attributed to pneumonia, anemia, and multiple drug intoxication. Her untimely demise was a shock to the entertainment industry, and she is remembered as a talented and beloved actress whose promising career was cut short. Richard Bonehill born on May 27, 1949, in London, England, was a British fencer, stuntman, and actor best known for his work in the film industry. He gained recognition for his expertise in fencing, which led to roles in several notable films, including Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, 1980, and Return of the Jedi, 1983, where he portrayed various characters, including a stormtrooper. Bonehill's career extended beyond Star Wars, with contributions to other iconic franchises such as Flash Gordon and Highlander. 
His achievements include being a skilled swordmaster and a respected stunt performer. Sadly, Richard Bonehill passed away on February 4, 2015, at the age of 65, due to complications from heart surgery. His legacy endures through his significant contributions to the film industry, particularly in the realm of swordplay and stunt work. Bernie Mac, born Bernard Jeffrey McCullough on October 5, 1957, in Chicago, Illinois, was an esteemed American stand-up comedian, actor, and producer. Rising to prominence with his dynamic and often confrontational comedy style, Mac became a household name through his stand-up specials and appearances. Mac achieved widespread fame with his role in the original Kings of Comedy tour and subsequent film, 2000. However, he truly solidified his status with the sitcom The Bernie Mac Show, 2001 to 2006, earning critical acclaim and a Primetime Emmy Award. Throughout his career, Bernie Mac garnered numerous accolades, including a Grammy Award for Best Comedy Album. His comedic brilliance and versatility were evident in film roles like Ocean's Eleven, 2001. Bernie Mac tragically passed away on August 9, 2008, at the age of 50, succumbing to complications from pneumonia. His legacy endures as a pioneering figure in comedy, remembered for his sharp wit, authenticity, and impactful contributions to the entertainment industry. Richard Attenborough, born on August 29, 1923, in Cambridge, England, was a distinguished British actor, director, and producer. He gained international fame for his roles in films like Brighton Rock, 1947, The Great Escape, 1963, and Jurassic Park, 1993. Attenborough's career extended beyond acting, with notable achievements as a director, winning Academy Awards for Gandhi, 1982. His contributions to the film industry were vast, including serving as a producer for acclaimed movies such as Oh, What a Lovely War, 1969, and A Bridge Too Far, 1977. Richard Attenborough also held influential roles in organizations supporting British cinema. Regrettably, Sir Richard Attenborough passed away on August 24, 2014, at the age of 90. The cause of his death was natural, with pre-existing health conditions playing a role. His legacy as a versatile performer, director, and advocate for the arts continues to be celebrated in the cinematic world. Sage Stallone, born on May 5, 1976, in Los Angeles, California, was an American actor, film director, and producer. He was the eldest son of renowned actor Sylvester Stallone. Sage Stallone gained attention for his role in Rocky V, 1990, where he portrayed Robert Balboa, the on-screen son of his real-life father. While Sage Stallone's acting career included several films, he also ventured into film production, co-founding Grindhouse Releasing. He worked on various projects, showcasing his passion for the film industry. Sadly, Sage Stallone passed away on July 13, 2012, at the age of 36. The cause of his death was later determined to be atherosclerosis, a condition characterized by the hardening of arteries. His untimely demise was a somber moment for the Stallone family and the entertainment industry, marking the loss of a young talent with potential for further contributions to the world of film. Chris Penn born on October 10, 1965, in Los Angeles, California, was an American actor and brother of acclaimed actor Sean Penn. He gained fame for his roles in films such as Reservoir Dogs, 1992, and True Romance, 1993, showcasing his versatility and distinctive presence on screen. Chris Penn's career spanned various genres, with notable performances in both comedic and dramatic roles. His achievements include a nomination for the Independent Spirit Award for his work in The Funeral, 1996. Tragically, Chris Penn passed away on January 24, 2006, at the age of 40. 
The cause of his death was cardiac arrest, associated with the effects of an enlarged heart. His untimely demise marked the loss of a talented actor, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and contributions to the film industry. Richard Griffiths, born on July 31, 1947, in Thornaby on Tees, England, was a celebrated English actor known for his remarkable performances on stage and screen. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Uncle Vernon Dursley in the Harry Potter film series. Griffiths had a prolific career in both theater and film, earning critical acclaim for his roles in plays like The History Boys and films like With Nail and I, 1987. His achievements include winning a Tony Award for his role in The History Boys on Broadway. Tragically, Richard Griffiths passed away on March 28, 2013, at the age of 65, due to complications following heart surgery. His legacy endures through his memorable performances, his contributions to British cinema, and his influence on younger generations of actors who admired his craft. Richard Harris, born on October 1, 1930, in Limerick, Ireland, was a distinguished Irish actor and singer. Rising to fame with roles in films like This Sporting Life, 1963, and Camelot, 1967, Harris established himself as a versatile and compelling performer. He gained further recognition as Albus Dumbledore in the first two Harry Potter films. Harris' career spanned over five decades, encompassing stage, screen, and musical pursuits. He received Academy Award nominations for his acting in This Sporting Life in the Field, 1990. Aside from acting, Harris was a talented singer, releasing several albums. Unfortunately, Richard Harris passed away on October 25, 2002, at the age of 72, due to Hodgkin's lymphoma. His legacy endures through his impactful contributions to the arts, remembered for his powerful performances and distinctive voice. Lou Albano, born Louis Vincent Albano on July 29, 1933, in Mount Vernon, New York, was an American professional wrestler, manager, and actor. He gained fame as a professional wrestling personality, known for his flamboyant and charismatic persona. Albano's career in wrestling spanned several decades, making significant contributions as both a performer and a manager. His achievements include managing multiple tag team champions in the World Wrestling Federation, now WWE. Albano's larger-than-life personality and unique fashion style, including rubber bands hanging from his face, made him a memorable figure in the wrestling world. Tragically, Lou Albano passed away on October 14, 2009, at the age of 76. The cause of his death was a heart attack. Remembered as a key figure in professional wrestling, Albano's legacy lives on through his impact on the sport and entertainment industry. Louis Anderson, born on March 24, 1953, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, was a beloved American comedian, actor, and television host. He rose to fame for his stand-up comedy, utilizing his humor to discuss his experiences, family life, and weight-related issues. Anderson's career included numerous comedy specials, TV appearances, and acting roles. He achieved widespread recognition with the animated series Life with Louie, 1995-1998, which won two Daytime Emmy Awards. Anderson's success extended to acting, with roles in films like Coming to America, 1988, and the TV series Baskets. Louis Anderson passed away on January 21, 2022, at the age of 68. The cause of his death was complications related to cancer. Remembered for his warm-hearted humor and contributions to the entertainment industry, Anderson left an enduring legacy that continues to bring joy to audiences worldwide. Helen McCrory, 
born on August 17, 1968, in Paddington, London, was a highly acclaimed British actress known for her versatile performances on stage and screen. She gained prominence for her roles in films like The Queen, 2006, and the Harry Potter series, where she portrayed Narcissa Malfoy. McCrory's career included an extensive body of work in theatre, receiving critical acclaim for her stage performances, including in Medea at the National Theatre. She also delivered memorable television performances in series like Peaky Blinders, 2013 to 2019. Her achievements include nominations for prestigious awards, such as the Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actress. Helen McCrory passed away on April 16, 2021, at the age of 52, after a private battle with cancer. Her legacy endures through her exceptional talent, memorable roles, and contributions to the world of acting. Patrick Swayze, born on August 18, 1952, in Houston, Texas, was a charismatic American actor, dancer, and singer. He skyrocketed to fame with iconic roles in films like Dirty Dancing, 1987, and Ghost, 1990, showcasing his talent as both an actor and a dancer. Swayze's career spanned several decades and included successes in various genres, from action films like Point Break, 1991, to romantic dramas. He earned three Golden Globe nominations for his performances. His achievements extended beyond acting, with a successful foray into music and dance. Swayze's legacy also includes his portrayal of Johnny Castle in Dirty Dancing, which became a cultural phenomenon. Sadly, Patrick Swayze passed away on September 14, 2009, at the age of 57, after battling pancreatic cancer. Remembered for his charm, talent, and enduring contributions to entertainment, Swayze left an indelible mark on the hearts of fans worldwide. Doris Day, born on April 3, 1922, in Cincinnati, Ohio, was an American actress, singer, and animal welfare activist. She rose to prominence in the 1940s as a popular big band singer and later became a beloved Hollywood actress, known for her roles in classic films like Calamity Jane, 1953, and Pillow Talk, 1959. Day's career spanned music, film, and television, earning her critical acclaim and several accolades, including a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. As a singer, she achieved chart success with hits like Que Sera, Sera, Whatever Will Be, Will Be. A passionate advocate for animal rights, Doris Day co-founded the Doris Day Animal Foundation. She retired from acting in the 1970s to focus on her advocacy work. Unfortunately, Doris Day passed away on May 13, 2019, at the age of 97, due to pneumonia. Remembered for her talent, warmth, and commitment to animal welfare, Day remains an enduring icon in the entertainment industry. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the lives of these remarkable actors. If you were surprised by any, let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you never miss our updates. Until next time, stay tuned for more intriguing insights right here on our channel.